Hi there, and welcome to Ivan's Daily Photo. Today I want to play with the concept of reflection on water. And uh, living in the desert, water is something that we don't get to see often. And uh, today we live in, a, in, a, in an area of town where they do uh, flooding irrigation, which means that they come in twice a, a month and they flood the field so that we don't have to be using sprinklers and it's uh, water that is not being treated. It's actually river water in essence that gets transported and, and it's, it's a cheaper way of keeping the grass and the green area of your area. So um, when that happens, obviously the, the area floods and it creates in some kind of interesting reflections. And uh, it's just an interesting exercise to play with, to look for photos where you might not think they are any at all. Um, so if you live close to water, this is a, a wonderful way to kind of explore uh, and, and find new photography, uh, new photograph in places that you might have not thought of. So um, I will walk you through some of the images that I found and then eventually my photo for today. Let's take a look. So we start here and uh, it's the very abstract reflection and I'm getting some reflections of flowers in the water and kind of creating a little bit abstract, something that mimics a painting. Uh, looking for colors, I find another uh, collection of flowers from a, the, some of the bushes that we have and it's creating this kind of very abstract look. You can go a little more refined and maybe take a picture of a reflection on the water or something that you know in this particular case, obviously a light structure or trees and uh, wait for the water to stop moving or moving and then you can play with it and see how sometimes these reflections can be a little more abstract than, than others. Uh, beautiful reflection of the neighbor's house is kind of like an old style Spanish and you know the red roof and uh, so obviously very clearly you can tell what that is. Uh, here's a reflection of the front of the house and you, you think it's an upside down photograph until you look up to the left and realize that it's actually the ground up there so you eventually become a reflection. Or something a little more uh, clear and defined which is the bird that you're seeing walking on the edge of the sidewalk as the water is reflecting on him. Or something like this where you have a fence and the water and because of the bird, it's easy to know which one is the top, which one is the bottom. But if I take the bear out and I take another photograph, then I get something a little more subtle that plays with your mind and makes you wonder, which is, is this upside down? Is this up? Is it down? And uh, so that's what I like about this particular photograph. And that's my photo for today. Reflections on the water. Hope you like it.